NASA now at Mission Crossroads after 50 years. Those who keep tabs on NASA's fortunes worry that the agency's plan to return Americans to the moon in a decade won't amount to more than a cluster of plywood frames sitting in a hangar. And now, as NASA marks its 50th anniversary Wednesday, space experts say NASA is adrift, its future disturbingly very murky. The space shuttle is due to retire in two years, its successor beset by budget and technical problems. They're not being given enough money. Won't fly until at least 2015, creating a stretch of at least five years when the United States will have no way to launch humans into orbit. Meanwhile, China and Russia and other countries of the Earth, well, they'll still have the capability. So, is this the part where we lose the space race? This is definitive proof that America is in serious decline because our leaders have brought us to error. With $700 billion, well, being wasted or supposedly used to prop up the falling American economy, just a small fraction of that could be used to prop up NASA and to make us the envy of the Earth again, or the world. But what are they going to do instead? They're not going to give NASA enough money, are they? It's a matter of misspent or misplaced money priorities. Our leaders are doing us a serious disservice because humans are destined to go into space to explore the solar system, the galaxy, the universe. That is supposed to be our destiny according to the Lord God Almighty. It's a rather unfortunate time to be celebrating a 50th anniversary Right now, we're best at a plateau, if not, I hate to say this, heading downwards in a downward spiral. The Space Agency was born October 1st, 1958, at the decree of Congress. Less than 11 years later, it landed the first man on the moon, a feat that has yet to be equaled by any other nation. Since then, NASA has sent robots to every corner of the solar system and built a spaceship, the shuttle, more versatile than any in history. It has also lost astronauts. Fourteen died in two shuttle accidents and the nation's attention. Do people even care anymore? Or has it all become just about money? I've seen NASA struggle with how we get back to an Apollo kind of excitement, says former space agency official Ray Colliday. NASA is in serious trouble. President, the president, has promised for, has promised an infusion of cash, but the full sum has failed to materialize. For NASA. Well, our president, everything he touches seems to come apart or break. No, he's not a very good president. Actually, he's one of the worst presidents there ever been. Anyway, they say the president's space legacy is in now, is now in serious question. That is true. The agency, NASA, is at a crossroads. The next administration has a big decision to decide which direction NASA will go. Alexander and others, Breton Alexander, a former White House aide, now at the X Prize Foundation, and others cite a host of problems dogging the space agency as it prepares to celebrate its 50th anniversary. 
what to do with the space shuttle. NASA plans to retire the shuttle in mid-2010, but there's support in Congress to keep the shuttle flying. That could cost $4 billion a year. NASA needs that money to build the new moon vehicle. Well, what is $4 billion compared to $700 billion? That's being spent on a very iffy save the economy proposal, which might or might not work. How to get astronauts to the International Space Station. After the shuttle retires, NASA hopes to use Russian craft to carry U.S. crews to the station. Purchase of the Russian ships requires congressional approval, which has yet to be granted. How are they going to afford all this? When the shuttle's replacement will fly, NASA is building a rocket called the Eris-1 and crew capsule, the Orion, to carry humans to orbit. They had hoped to have the two ready in 2013, three years after the shuttle stops flying. But now, instead, the first manned launch has been delayed until 2015, and perhaps, well, it could be even indefinitely. No, this is not going to work. This is a very serious problem. Lack of funding, leadership. It's a come down for an agency that commanded more than 3% of the federal budget in the 1960s. Today, it gets less than 1%. Yes, it's a matter of priorities, isn't it? After the United States beat the Soviets to the moon, interest and funding collapsed. The space agency was unfortunately forced to shelve grand plans for human exploration of the solar system. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's our destiny. Since then, many of NASA's greatest triumphs have been the work of machines, robots, not astronauts. Public interest has focused on the Hubble Space Telescope and the Mars rovers and the Phoenix Mars Lander. The space station, though a technical marvel, draws little attention, as do shuttle flights. NASA blames a lack of funding and leadership for the agency's lost prominence. The space program has moved forward for more than 30 years without a guiding vision. So what do we do now? It is a matter of priorities and federal funding. Well, at $300 million a day for the supposed theoretical war on terror, well, a couple of days of that could send another Phoenix Mars lander back to Mars for the money that they spend on just a few days or a week at the war, on war funding. It is, once again, a matter of money priorities. And the present president, no, he hasn't done us any good. What good has he done anywhere, actually? The forecast for NASA's funding looks very bleak, says, a, says an historian at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't simply because there's no compelling rationale or money for going back to the moon. Nonetheless, satellites and other robotic spacecraft are doing exciting science and will continue to do so. That's our only hope for now, although eventually we need to go back to manned missions. Nonetheless, we're on a real upswing in terms of a can-do attitude in NASA. But now, but now, we still need more funding. Yes, it's a matter of misplaced priorities in the federal budget, and our leaders have caused this to err. They're doing the wrong things. And these are more signs of the end times, last days, transition days, and there are many signs.